call instant karma. I love raking, it's so relaxing. Turn around, the rake's clogged up. That's okay, I got it. I'm just gonna take this greasy hay that was in the pivot points and throw it into the woods. You don't wanna bail that up. It's okay, I still love raking, still relaxing. But now I gotta wipe my hand up. Hey guys. Okay, it is a little bit later in the day and I am out here in Tomato Tunnel. <clears throat> it hasn't actually been that long since I did all the trellising in here. I think maybe a week, but I will turn you guys and show you exactly why you have to stay diligent and you have to be out here and you have to keep clipping them up. So hold on, let me turn you right around. Okay, so as you can see, this guy back here, Look how much it's grown. This is where I've clipped it. I clipped it down here. So we're the whole way up here now. So in order to keep your tomato growing healthy and straight, you want to just make sure you're coming in here once a week and you're clipping it to this piece of twine. And then you also wanna make sure you're coming in here and you're pruning off the suckers. You wanna make sure you keep those pruned off. And you wanna make sure that you keep um, clipping the bottom up. So hold on, let me grab the pruning shears here. So you want to make sure that you keep these bottom branches off. There we go. And I'm just going to very quickly, I have this right now, I'm out of clips. So we're just using this. Okay. Very loosely, I'm going to kind of step in here so you guys can see what I'm doing. You want to just Put a little piece of tie around here, leaving enough room for the stem of the tomato to grow. It moves up and down. You don't want to make it tight. And there, that one is good to go. So I'm just going to keep going down the row here, and I'm going to make sure that they all look like this. The reason we want to keep them pruned, especially in here, especially because I went ahead and planted a whole lot of tomatoes in a small space, you want to make sure that it has optimum airflow. And somebody once said, and I don't remember who it was, but they said, I'm growing tomatoes, not leaves. So that's one reason why you want to keep them kind of pruned down a little bit because you want to make sure that the plant sends all of its energy into growing beautiful big fruits. And, you know, with the added airflow, you're making sure too that you don't get, you know, certain diseases like blight and stuff. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and go down here. It shouldn't take me long considering I just did most of these. So, you know, just take 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, zip down here, make sure everything looks good, everything's pruned, and then I will catch back up with you guys. This is my sunflower squash bed, garden, whatever. <laughs> uh, we ate a couple Zypher squash last night. If you've never had these, they're fantastic. They're the best squash you're ever going to eat. Highly recommend. We've been getting some of those now. And I have them the whole way down here. Oops, there we go. You can see them. These are my delicatas. And I actually have... Looky. I actually have a delicata starting down there. This garden makes me very happy. I had nothing but trouble last year with my squash and melons. I planted them all in this garden. This is marshmallow root here. I have watermelons back here and I have them along the fence row. And this garden's kind of just wild and wonderful. The sunflowers will grow up tall. If you didn't know, this is your public service announcement. Just grow a garden. It does not have to be perfect. It does not have to be perfectly weeded. A little bit of maintenance, keeping the majority of the weeds cleared out, and you will grow food. This is a state, this is a testament to that. You see a lot of grass. If I take you in there and I let you look at that garden, you'll see how much abundance there is starting, how much new life is there. You just gotta have to keep things a little bit red up, and you'll grow food, I promise. So right now I'm coming down here, I'm going to hop on the mini skid steer and I'm gonna to try to clean out the goat pen 
which is on deep bedding. Guys, leave the chickens alone, would you? Anyways, it's on deep bedding. I don't have my grapple bucket, so it might be difficult, but look at these girls, hold on. Sisters fight and argue no matter what species. They have this whole area. And Kiwi's just beating up her sister for some reason. Apparently Peach said something to Kiwi that she doesn't like. They're an electric fence, so they're not going anywhere. I wouldn't try it, Peach. Kiwi. Kiwi. Hey, pig pigs. Be nice to your sister. What'd she say to you? What she mean? What she mean? Oh, just a nice girl. I can't reach you. I can't reach you. Oh, boops. Okay. <sighs> Sorry. Be nice. Love your sister. Jeez. And here's Tank, right here. The boar. He's just hanging out next to the girls, but he can't get over there with them because he got electric fancy net right. Yes. Oh, you're a nice boy. Yeah. You want your back scratch tank? That's what he likes. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're a good boy, Tank. You're a good boy, Tank. Bye. And you guys haven't seen the piglets in a little while, so don't mind the extension cord. That's going to the fence zapper until I run a solid line. Here's the piglets. They're not so tiny anymore, are you guys? They're very loud and very annoying, but they're growing like mad. Yeah. Aren't you? Huh? You guys are awful bad. They're real cute, though. Here's just a, those are daylilies. This is just a little peek of the uh, potage bed here. Oh, I bumped the mint. It's okay. Oh, oh. So we have yarrow, mint bed, a wild chase. This tree needs cut down. Hyssop, oh no, St. John's wort. Hyssop. This is, this is, this is what I want. I want these beautiful herbs to just, crowd the walkway and very jade yes and there's a wild jade okay penny royal and elecamp pain and then mixed in i have pepper plants and cucumbers and over here some basil i'm coming through here and just weeding a bit so i just wanted to show you guys that a per you don't have to have a perfect garden like i was saying earlier we have squash plants here and I have, you know, there's weeds mixed in, but the fact is these guys are gonna get more of the sunlight than the weeds, so they'll hopefully grow faster. I have Hungarian wax peppers in here. This is about where I stopped weeding. So I have to come through here, and actually this part I've just been mowing with the push mower. Which is I very do fun, have, by the way. I do have to finish weeding this center part here. Because I have, you can see there's pepper plants and there's cabbages <laughs> in there. In but we have strawberry patch over there and it's coming along, guys. It's coming along. So I was going to clean out the goat pen. And the mini skid steers track is not off. But there's a part of it that's broken. So I think something needs welded on it. I don't really know all the details. I do know that it's got like nine hours on it and I pretty much should expect this. I am absolutely using that like I would use any other piece of equipment. We're putting a little Chinesium to the test and what we found is it's actually an awesome machine except for this track situation. So Hopefully we'll get it fixed because it really is like a handy tool to have. Okay. And why they move it? But I so long story short, I didn't clean the goat pen tonight. I'm gonna get my BB gun. Oh. Kids are getting their BB guns. They're after the uh, rabbits that keep getting in my garden again. Anyways, guys. 
We're gonna milk and I'm gonna go to the house before dark for a change. Not really sure what to do with myself. I raked, I trellised tomatoes, I weeded some of my garden. I did some work in the house today. It's not a bad day. I might get up there and make some bread. I hope you guys have a great day and we will see you in the next video. Bye.